everybody, this is Steve from the Worthy Bugger Fly Company and thanks for uh, tuning in again to our fly tying video series. Today, I'm going to show you how to tie the unreal summer stonefly. So, here on the Yakima River in central Washington, we get a big stonefly hatch that uh, starts in August with the males and then is followed up as the river drops uh, in September. The big females uh, come out. This is a great pattern to replicate the big female summer stone, short wing stone um, that emerges that time of year. We've been using this pattern the last couple years with great success. It's incorporated with an extended body uh, stone fly, it makes it really realistic profile uh, on the water, and uh, fish just crush it. So. Uh, if you know how to put together a chubby Chernobyl, this one pretty similar uh, in design or uh, kind of similar to uh, our Dum Dum Stone too, uh, but super fun to uh, to put together at the vise, but even funner to uh, fish. So stay tuned. All right, so uh, let's get started uh, putting together the Unreal Stone here. So. The thing that makes this pattern very unique is the body. Uh, this is a frosty fly, stonefly body, so it's a foam. It's, a, it's, it's all cylinder foam completely, so uh, the body itself floats like a cork. And uh, we're gonna add more foam, and uh, we're also gonna add some uh, widow's web, which is uh, polypropylene yarn, to, uh, to the Unreal Stone and uh, this makes it even more buoyant. Um, so the first thing that you're gonna need to do is take your bodkin and you can see how it's printed on here. These are all printed bodies. And you can see the segments in the body which is pretty uh, unreal. So what I like to do is uh, take my bodkin and uh, go to the third segment and stick it all the way through there like this, okay? So the reason we're doing this is we're going to, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna apply a uh, rubber leg in there for, uh, for the tails the split split tails so take your thread bobbin and run it through there and then uh, like these small little micro legs are killer on big patterns because uh, on water they just move like crazy so uh, take your rubber leg and put it in your bobbin threader run your leg through okay and once you uh, once you've run your rubber leg your micro rubber leg through should likely look like this so you have one side coming out on both sides of your body next thing that you're gonna need is your extend body tool so put this in your vise. And I like to use this Vivas 50 Denier GSP when building big flies. It's it's bulletproof, man, it's you can't break it. And uh, the only thing is you got to you got to watch so you don't with foam that you don't pull super tight and cut all the way through the foam, but it's just great for building bigger patterns. Comes all the way, it goes all the way from 35 denier, which is an excellent strength too, and all the way up to 200. So super strong, doesn't build up a whole lot of bulk. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna, your rubber legs are attached in there, but they're not secure. So we're gonna lay our body on top of the pin here and we're gonna take and we're gonna make some thread wraps right directly behind where the rubber legs poke through and you're, you're gonna pull tight get that get that body 
bound down to the pan so it looks like this and then we can trim these and we want these flared and right now they're they're somewhat flared but what's going to help, help them flare even more is we put a little bit of dubbing in here to fill that thread spot in there and this is a great dubbing this is become one of my favorite John Romer's diamond dub and this is an exact matching color to this pattern it's really nice dubbing it's easy to go on see how easy it is to apply so put a little bit of dubbing on your on your thread there and this might try to spin on you a little bit you just gotta you just gotta kind of work with it a little bit so just hold on to that tight and as you're wrapping this just kind of make sure that you're you're wrapping it it really serves two different purposes we want to fill in this thread spot here just so it doesn't show on our fly it's just the fish don't care it's just more really of aesthetics for the fly tire you know, in our uh, narcissistic, our nar narcissism, but it also works to, uh, you know, to uh, splay these legs out. Okay. So once you got that filled in, then we'll make a. See how this one wants to spin a little bit on there. So we're gonna make a couple of half inches here. get that bound down and we can kind of fine-tune it too you know when, once the patterns completely built you, leave, you can leave those a little bit long the stuff is this GSP it, it's a little bit harder to, to cut because of the gel in it so you need a nice strong you know sharp pair of scissors so pull your uh, your body off your pin you, you can take your pin and set your pin aside so the hook that I'm using uh, is a uh, lightning strike um, a merger scud emerger they call it it's an se5 it's a heavy but short shank great for uh, you know for building extended body flies um, so let's take and lay down a thread base here build up a good good thread base on your fly give you a good foundation so all your materials especially with extended bodies you just you don't you don't want them you know twisting and moving around on on the hook so after you've laid down that that thread base kind of take your pattern here and you can lay it up on the on the top to kind of get a measurement what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut we're gonna cut the body right here so you can take a scissor or you can take an exacto or a, a razor blade and you can make a you can make a cut in there you can see this how, how the foam body is built so it's layered foam so again this, this fly is going to be super buoyant so take and work your fly or excuse me work your thread to the eye and then back it off about a quarter of uh, the hook shank okay and then your body should slide right into place where you where you made that cut in between the hook and you can kind of take and pinch that body tight together and then we're going to connect it get it on there where it's nice and straight 
can see you can really, really reef on this GSP. You can really get that body, especially foam. You can get that body. You don't want to pull too hard because it'll GSP will will cut through certain materials, but you can really bind that. Really, really pull hard. I've broken bobbins before with it. Okay, so it should look like this. And let's make a half hitch here. And I'm going to take our scissors and we're going to cut that right there, okay? And then we're going to go back right to the bend of the hook and we're going to connect the rest of the body. You do this for a couple reasons. One, for a segment. Also to bind our body down tighter to our hook so it doesn't move around on there. Um, because fish really, really pound this fly. Um, so we want it as it, we want it as durable as we can get it. So now that's really bound down tight. It's not going anywhere. Mm. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add a layer of foam, two millimeter black. It's been pre-cut with a foam body cutter. So I pre-cut this and we're gonna lay this up on the top and this is this is gonna serve a, a couple of purposes one it's gonna add more flotation two it's gonna create a bigger silhouette on the water and also when we lay this on here we want the back of it just hanging right back behind the body so that black shows through and that's gonna act as our egg sac to the fish. So lay this on top of your stonefly body and bind it down right behind your eye there. And gotta be kind of careful with this, not to too, pull too tight with this GSB because it'll really slice through this two millimeter foam pretty easily. So get this laid down and half hitch it in place. Um, and you can kind of see how this sticks up on there like that. So what we're, what we're gonna wanna do is take a little Z-mat, it's just a fly tying super glue. And we're gonna wanna lay a little bit on that back side and then some on this body here. And you can kind of get in there and where your tails were coming through and add a little bit. That'll help make them a little bit dura more durable and keep them, uh, keep them in place too. So get that on there, that'll start drying. You can blow on it a little bit. And that'll speed up the process and then just kind of take and marry those two pieces together. And I just take and just run your scissor across the top there, back and forth, and that'll just kind of help mash them together and uh, glue those two pieces of foam together. Takes a uh, this takes a couple of seconds to get that and you want to make sure that you leave this piece of foam hanging off the front here because this is going to be a this is a crucial piece so uh, if it's a little bit long that's okay uh, just just leave it and make sure that that's nice and secured and that's dried and move on to uh, to the next phase okay so uh, our next <clears throat> set of material that we're going to put, we're going to put a, uh, an underwing and a wing on the stonefly. And 
The first material to go on is some material called wing and flash, and this is going to be our underwing, and this really kind of serves as a couple of different purposes. Uh, it It adds a little bit of body to the fly and a little bit of flash, but it also helps cover up this big polypropylene wing uh, from the silhouette as the fish are, are looking up in, in low clear water. This black is going to kind of help, uh, you know, hide a little bit of that white wing, you know, that's mainly used for the fishermen. So you can see this fly because it's it rides low on the water, so. Um, this is really going to aid in, in, you know, fish detection and really keep them, you know, from, from, from spooking off of the fly in, in low, clear water, bright, sunny conditions. So we're going to tie, tie this in backwards and take and cut any of this excess out. Just try and keep our fly as minimal, as minimal bulk as possible chop that out what you can and then we're going to pull this back over the top of the fly and take and run your GSP through there and pull tight you know watch that suck right into the into the foam and that should lay right over the top of your of your body okay so the next thing, we're going to add our widow's web, and we're going to do the same exact technique. We're going to put this up on the top, the ends facing forward. This also ma it helps make a little bit more durable wing because it's tied down in two places. It's tied down here and then tied down again. So it just builds a it just builds a more durable fly, especially flies that are that are big and you know, uh, just tend to get hammered. Mm. So take and pull this wing again back across the top of the fly and tie it down with your GSP. So it looks like so. And it's still sticking up a little bit, but in our next step, I'm going to show you how to bring how to bring that down even more. Okay, so we got our wings in. We want to bring that wing down a, along the body a little bit more. So take and do a half hitch and chop your thread off there. And now you should be able to pull on that wing. That thing's super durable. It's tied in there twice. It's not going anywhere. So take and run your thread right at the bend of the hook and you're going to lash, make a couple of tight turns, trim off the excess and now pull your wing down nice and tight and then you don't, you don't need this really tight because it'll if you pull tight on it, it's going to make it flare even more. So just use your GSP and just kind of go around it a few times. You want to pull tight, but not super tight where, where all your material is starting to flare. And see how it brings that body down. And again, once, you, once we lay some Flyagra on this thing, then that wing will really be down and be really visible to uh, to the fishermen. So take and half hitch it. Okay. So that will keep it nice and durable. And the next thing we're going to do is take one of our black micro silicone legs and we're going to double it up. Get it as even as you can and then just lay it right on top of our body. Try to get it as even as you can. And then let's just make a couple of wraps. 
and that'll hold it in place. Just the weight of your bob in there is going to hold your, see, going to hold your, hold your leg right in place. And then all you need to do is just cut it. And that will form both of your legs and then just evenly pull them down along the sides of your body. This is what's nice about having a, uh, you know, a rotary vise or, you know, at least a vise where the head, you know, will spin 360 degrees so you can see, you know, all angles of the, of the fly that you're putting together. So get that where you want it on the side of your body. What I like to do is just kind of pull all my material back because I want those legs, I want those legs back out of the way and against the body splayed somewhat get them in there nice and tight make sure not to get your front legs tied in because those are going to move forward Okay, so the next thing that you're going to want to do when you've got those nice and tight is take a little bit more of your diamond dub, golden yellow, and dub this onto your thread. And this is going to help, help uh, secure your legs in place, and it's going to fill in that gap in there that, uh, that your thread has caused. And it also will help splay your legs evenly. So before you start dubbing it, pull everything up out of the way and then you can wrap your thread and wrap it forward. Pull, it, pull your front legs down. got that in place you can uh, pull tight on there and then we're gonna we're gonna make a couple of half hitches make sure you don't get your leg in there pull that tight Chop your GSP and reattach it right behind your eye. Cut off your excess and then the next thing that you're going to want to do is just pull that leg forward along the body and attach it to the side and do the same in the front here with both the right and the left. Don't worry about it if they're a little bit long. We want them a little bit long so we can, we can fine tune this fly at the very end. So get those in place where you, where you want them along the body. And that little black piece of foam there will kind of hide, hide that leg. And then just pull tight and bind it down nice couple of thread wraps and again one more layer of diamond dub from John Romer my good friend inventor of the uh, famous semi seal leech and semi seal dubbing this is great great dubbing it's just so nice to work with so again we're filling in that thread gap and we're also splaying our legs. Okay, and then just pull it up. Pull those legs up out of the way like this. Bring your thread forward and we're gonna finish binding 
this down. So we've got a little bit, you can see we got just a little bit of eye space here left is what we want. So pull that, pull the legs out of the way and pull your foam down. And then we're going to attach that. We're gonna lay that foam down. We're gonna make a couple of half hitches here. It's nice and tight. We're gonna chop that off. And now we can, now we've built our unreal stone. She's ready to fish with just a couple of fine tunes to it. So you can still see this this piece of foam here in the in the front. We want that kind of long because we want this fly tracking on the water. We want it when a stone fly is on the it hits the water. A female stone hits the water. She's she's moving all about, um, especially this species of stone fly. Uh, it, it's summer. Water temperatures are up. Air temperatures are up. This is a very very active. Uh, insect so this piece of foam here in the front is going to act like a rudder and uh, it's going to push water so we want it a little bit long coming off the front so let's just take and trim it where it's going to push water against there and create a little bit of a wake and you still have a uh, the eye of your hook still exposed so you can get your three or four x tippet in there so now you can just kind of take and trim your legs to your liking don't like them like super long like hanging out all over the place but take them and trim them back a little bit you can measure them out so they're the same that's gonna create a great profile. That wing is down, and you can kinda of take and pull it up just a little bit and trim it a little bit more. So now we got a, uh, got a great stonefly representation in the Unreal Stone, super buoyant, uh, you know, with this foam body, more foam incorporated into it, and a widow's web. Uh, for the fishermen and to aid in flotation. So that's the Unreal Stone. Um, give it a try. It's a fun one uh, to fish and uh, pretty fun to put together at the vise.